It's the second time that Zamani Sol has ventured outside the province's capital to deliver his State of the Province address. Residents of Calvinia says their issues are many and need urgent attention. We are struggling at the moment with the poverty, the, the people don't have houses and stuff like that, toilet, toilets and stuff like that. Uh, so in our community, uh, our people need jobs and uh, the most of all is the young, the young people, uh, the, young, the young ones in the community. Like, that's why people, the, the young ones, are using drugs. I hope the Premier will address the, the, that there's the working problems, there's no work in, in our town. So I hope that he will talk about that. I hope that he will talk about the, the problems at the hospital because that is also a problem. At uh, the clinic, there's also the waiting period is too long, especially for the old people. There's no work for them on the work, on the streets or the municipality of there. There's ma many people who sit by the house. There's many people who go into drug laws, who seek work there because you must put food on the table. The same problems face residents elsewhere in the province. I would like to see that our roads should be fine, the potholes should be uh, uh, fixed because of there are some potholes that are uh, hurting the cars. The load shedding should stop because it's uh, uh, our fridges and some of the people who are staying in sheds should get water and electricity so that they can live. Our schools should be guarded. They should maybe hire some securities because of some of schools are not safe. Job creation. Give the small businesses a chance. Develop the place. Build the place. Invest in the people. I mean, there's so much that these people can work on, but they're not doing it. Last year, Seoul lamented the province's youth unemployment rate and the lack of access to opportunities. He also highlighted his administration's efforts to secure big economic projects to create jobs. They've been progress with the green hydrogen project that will create thousands of jobs in the next few years. Ulrich Hendricks, SABC News, Calvinia, Northern Cape.